it's Naomi and today I'm going to be doing a super simple chatty get ready with me. I'm doing my makeup in this and not get ready with me is normally include their hair and stuff but I just literally just straighten mine so I didn't think there was any point showing you guys because I'm sure you all know how to straighten your hair. Recently I've been really into kind of spending more time on my face and then just having like a super natural eye look so that's what I share with you guys today. You guys know this is kind of my like go-to look no matter what season but these are kind of the products that I've been using this spring. Is it technically spring yet? Mm, kind of not but these are the products I'm going to be using for the upcoming spring as well so I guess it kind of counts. This is also a really good routine if you're trying to cover up your acne scars but you still want really simple easy makeup. So it covers acne but also enhances the natural beauty which I think is for me personally I like to enhance my eyes more so that's kind of what I think this makeup look does. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I've linked all the products down below, so if there's anything that I don't mention, or that you want to get out and check yourself, then I will leave those all down below for you guys. So first, I'm going to use this Barium Flawless Original Primer. I haven't used this before, so... First impression! Oh, I like it's got a pump. I love products with pumps. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like sunscreen. Oh my gosh, that is my favorite scent in the whole whole entire world. I need to address why my eyes look so weird. Um, I've got really dry eyelids randomly. I don't know why. I was using eye cream but it's just like they were still dry so I need to get an actual eye cream. I think I'm going to try like the Kiehl's one. See if that's nice. But um, I woke up and they were really really dry so I put Sudacrem on which is why it doesn't look as white now that I've kind of put the primer on and rubbed it in. But that's why it looked white at first. <laughs> that primer looks nice. I like it. I like it. Um, now I'm going to uh, I can never open it, I think, after I put primer on though. There we go. So I've got a collection of Lasting Perfection Concealer, and I'm just going to put this on my eyes. I just use concealer instead of primer. It's so much easier, so much cheaper. I don't have to buy two products. Same one. And then I like to go in with a powder and set that so that my um, eyeshadow stays on the day, that's the word. Uh, I have not done a tutorial. I get rid of me. This is a get rid of me, not a tutorial. I'm not a pro. Um, and for F's can't remember anything. So I recently decluttered all my makeup which you guys will be seeing soon. I <laughs> get excited about that but um, the only eyeshadow palette I actually have left now is this Naked 2 by Urban Decay and I have made it a goal of mine to try and use up all the shadows in here like I don't have like a time when I need to use them all up by but I really want to use them all up because that would be so satisfying to use up a whole palette. Like, that would be so nice. So that's the goal. Um, I'm just putting booty call all over my eyelids. Am I the only one who doesn't actually really like this palette? Like, I'm just saying it. I don't really like it that much. I don't know. It could also be because I have very dry eyelids at the moment, but like, it just, a few times I've used it, it just doesn't look that amazing. For how much it is, you'd think it would look like insane. I don't know. Maybe I've got a bad one because everyone else loves it. And like, this is supposed to be a white shimmery eyeshadow. It ain't showing up white and shimmery in my life. Is it a bit bright? Is it just like, I don't think it's bright, I just think there's no dimension to my face. <laughs> Ow, I just got it in my eye. I just got it in my eye. I <laughs> got it in my eye. Ow. This happens every time I film a tutorial. <laughs> or a makeup, get rid of it, whatever the heck this is. My dry skin. It literally looks like I'm putting eyeshadow on a snake. I'm sorry. Are the snakes actually, though, like really smooth? I feel like that's actually a thing that I heard. Now I'm putting Faxi all over top. Not this drink. Anything. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with tees and put that in my crease. I'm going for a very natural look today because we're just taking the big pics, so I don't wanna go crazy. That looks nasty. It looks like I've got a dead eye. <laughs> okay, well I will be honest, this is the first time I was like using this since decluttering, so I didn't even think that it would be bad. I just like assumed it would be amazing. It looks nasty. The white eyeshadow, the white eyeshadow literally looks like my skin. Let's just say that. I don't know what to do with it though. Should I sell it? Well, normally I use my bronzer in my, oh, a little bit behind you, in my crease. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in. Yeah, I genuinely think I'm actually going to try and like low-key sell that palette. Oh, well. I just, it just doesn't work for me. But this is the kind of eyeshadow I, I do no matter what eyeshadow I have. I literally just always put a, have a white base and then a bronzy, browns, like, crease. So... I think it's still fine to post this because technically it's still what I do with whatever whatever I have to work with. Now I'm going to go onto the face. I'm going to take this collection lasting perfection concealer. Put this under my eyes. I watched back one of my old tutorials and I was like, only put a little bit of concealer under your eyes and then it'll be like 
less cakey and like for some reason I'd stop doing that after like doing that vid and now I do it, do it again it's like so much better I'm like wow old me I've been current me oh I don't know dribble dribble and subscribe guys I'm a mess right now let's just say that I've got something like dry eyelids I've got something also right here that hurts so bad like okay story time I um stabbed myself so hard in the gums with my toothbrush casual things to the point I literally started crying and um <laughs> and it hurts so so bad and um like two days later I was like this still really hurts I was like I probably cut my lip I was like that's it I've cut my gums I'm gonna need stitches I'm gonna need to go to the hospital so I got my dad to look I just had like three ulcers it wasn't actually that come myself I just had three ulcers so that was all right but um and that was literally like nine days ago and I still have the most painful ulcer ever so that's really nice. It's like right, right there where your like cupid's bow is. So obviously the upside, underside. Um, and I need to take pictures, but it really hurts to smile and laugh. So this is the I am color correcting wand. It's supposed to like help with dark circles. This is like the first time I've actually used it in the day. I used it once at night, and it was really nice. Oh my gosh, how bright that is. Um, but I haven't used it in the day, so I just put concealer on. The first and then this to like brighten the area you probably should do this after foundation but that always like makes me nervous because I can never get concealer and stuff that matches me so I was like to put it on first and then put concealer that match I mean foundation that matches me oh my face should probably be some right for what also my under eyes are a bit dry too so this is just really nice ew I'm so crusty <laughs> I mean it's not the best at concealing but it's like pretty brightening under there Hmm, what else did I just touch you guys about? Um, this is now the third week, I think, that I'm doing YouTube full time. It's alright. Um, kind of bored, let's be real. I mean, there's only so much you can do when you only make two videos a week. Like, I've already, um, pre-filmed and pre-edited, like, three weeks worth, worth of videos for later in March, I think. Um, I can't post them yet. You guys see why soon, but, um, I'm just doing some pre-filming at the moment, and then... I, there, yeah, there's like not really much else to do. I'm like, because obviously like a lot of full-time YouTubers, they like are doing brand deals and like, I don't know, other stuff on the side, like having all these secret meetings about projects and stuff. Whereas I'm not, I'm literally just doing vids, so it doesn't really take as long. So yeah, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to go back to America because I'm going to try the It Cosmetics CC Cream and oh, I'm like dying to try it. I feel like that'll be the answer to all my prayers when it comes to my skin foundation stuff like I don't know, I used to think I liked this foundation but like now I realize how bad it actually is like it just is not the one but yeah leave any video requests you guys have down below because obviously now I can now I have more time so I could create more content if you guys like want it I mean I'm not saying I'll go to three videos a week anytime soon but I could in the future um I'm gonna be really busy the next like month or so so I'm not gonna be able to do it this month but yeah, maybe near the summer, I might be able to do three videos a week. But obviously that's a lot more content, so let me know if there's anything you guys want to see. Anything I haven't done in a while that you miss. Oh, you guys have been saying that you, um, a couple of you have said that you miss my empties videos. And I'm really sorry, I didn't realise people like, I know obviously people watch them, so like some people like them. But I didn't realise like you guys really wanted me to do them and I keep on doing them. So uh, I haven't been collecting my empties for like a while because I just thought that... You know, it was one of those kind of videos where you like touching it, but like you weren't like that fussed about it, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. But, um, so I wasn't collecting it, but I'm going to start collecting it again soon. Oh gosh, not right now because it's um, busy and stuff like that. Um, you guys will understand why soon, but yeah, when I'm sat down in like a month or so, then I will um, start collecting it again. Oh, I'm so excited I'm getting a new phone soon. Ah, oh, I've literally had the iPhone 4S for literally since, I, well, since it came out, since I got it. And I look so excited. I'm going to get the 6S, I think. I need your guys' opinions. Whether I should get the 6S or, I've got a clock on my nose, or whether I should get the 7 Plus. Because 7 Plus has a really cool camera, but it's like, so, it's more expensive. And it's also so much bigger. And to go from our 4S to the 7 Plus is like going to be such a big difference. So I kind of am thinking if I get the um, 6, the 6S, not the 6 Plus. And it'll be a bit more of like a... It'll be less of a size difference because I hate how big the phones are. Like I'm not a fan of the big phone look. So 
yeah, let me know if you have the six and if you really like it, if the picture quality is really nice. I'm sure it will be, I'm sure anything will be better than my singing forest potato, I don't know, quality. Like, I do, I do have a post on um, RG because the I just, like, don't like taking pictures on my camera and then having to put them on my computer and then, like, edit them and then put them on my phone. It's just so much easier just to just take them straight on the phone and just, like, post them straight away. It just, like, feels more real and stuff. I don't know. I just really like that feel more. Um, whereas, when I take them on my camera, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't like it. It's not as in the moment and, you know. And then, I don't Snapchat ever because... Um, I didn't realize this, but because I have the 4S, it's a lot smaller, so obviously my screen, when I take a picture, it only fills up the, like, 4S screen, which is, like, I'm not any of that big, I don't know why I was doing, like, a singing giant thing, um, it's very small. So, when you guys see it on, like, say, a 6S, or, uh, even, like, an, a 7 Plus, whatever, there's in that black box, like, all around the picture, and I never realized it did that until, I think, one of Lars' friends took a screenshot of, like, someone in my story or something like that and then like sent it back to us I don't know I can't remember and it had the black box around it and I was like oh my gosh do they always have that and they do and I was like that's disgusting so it's that made me like not that I ever really posted Snapchat anyway because the phone quality was so bad I just didn't like the picture quality on it but now that I know it has a bad picture quality and the black box around it I'm like no I like never post on it now which is so annoying because I love Snapchat I never really want to get into it again so when I get the new phone, I'll be Snapchatting like daily. So I'm excited about that. Also, I want to bring out my own pop socket merch because I really want a pop socket. And I was like, it would be so much fun to have my own like merch one. And I was thinking of ideas, and I've got a really cute design idea that I think people will like. It's not anything like really to do with me in a way. Like, so I feel like it's good because a lot of other people, even if you're not like a super fan of me, which like. Duh, obviously it wouldn't be. Um, then you can still like, like it because it's not like a picture of my face or something like that. Like I don't like people when they do pop sockets with pictures on their face. Like of their face, I'm like, that's, I don't know, I just think it's a bit weird. <laughs> that brow difference though, oh well, that's embarrassing. I keep on having to go to the side because I've got a square box right over my face in the viewfinder because obviously that's where it needs to focus. So I can't see, so I have to like put it onto the side. Okay, so let me know if you guys would be interested in merch sometime in the future it, it obviously would as i say it's not gonna be like a whole lot i'm gonna bring out t-shirts and all stuff like that um but i think it would be cool to have a pop socket because as i say i wanted one for my phone and then i was like i would use i liked the designer that i made in my head so i thought that would be cute to have on mine so i think i'll get one <clears throat> made for me and then if you guys like it and if anyone wants to get one then i might order some more with it but you have to order like 25 so <laughs> I need to know that some of you guys would actually want it. Oh, also, let me know if there's any bids you want me to do before either we go back to America or when we're in America. Just like, I want to do, um, like, what's in my carry-on bag. I think that'd be cool because I've never done, like, any traveling bids, really. Or, um, there's a couple other ones I want to do. Obviously, I'm doing, like, my whole decluttering series, which you guys will see soon. Wait, we don't know when we're going yet. This isn't me, like, announcing. We're going back because we're not yet. But, um, I definitely want to start thinking of ideas for videos that um, you guys would want me to do before or after. Oh, I also want to do um, like my fave things about each country or whatever because um, I've lived in both for like nearly 10 years now each. So I feel like I've got enough to say about both that um, I could say what was I think was the best bits out of both and then maybe the worst bits out of living in both. Oh my gosh, I really want to do like vegan taste testing vids when we go back. Um, Taco Bell. Oh, I'm so excited to try the vegan stuff. I know it's like so unhealthy for you, but I don't even care. Um, and then, sorry, some more brushes. Yeah, and they just have so much more vegan food than we do in England. So I'm just like really excited to try it all and see if it's nice. I'm going to try really hard to be really healthy when we go back though. And like get a blender and have fruit smoothies all the time because I feel like it's going to be hot there. So I'll actually like want to have smoothies more because here it's too cold to have smoothies. It's like, I don't want a smoothie. It's cold. I'm going to put a bit of this on my um, eyeshadow since that other colour has faded into nothing. Let's put this. Brighten that up. Don't want to look dead in the pictures. I'm dreaming of the day I get to go to the beach. I'm like so excited about it. I haven't gone to the beach in like for three years. I'm dying. We didn't used to go that often. We'd go probably be like... I'd say one year we didn't go at all, which is like insane. We literally lived two, year, two hours away from the beach and we, like, we didn't go for a whole year. But um, most of the time we'd go like two times a year. Whereas when we go back, we're like going to be there all the time. 
hopefully. I feel like I look very bronzed in real life. I don't look as bronzed in the camera as I do in real life with it. I'm gonna bring it down the neck. Man, I love a bit of mascara. Just lifts the whole face, I love it. My favorite lipstick at the moment has been this Natural Collection lipstick in Biscuit. It's a Moisture Shine Win and it's literally $1.99, so you need to go get this if you have Natural Collection where you live. I think it might just be an English thing that you can get in Boots, but I'm not sure. But I love it. I just think it looks so cute and like natural and I love it so, so much. So that is how I do my everyday makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye!